I've decided I'm gonna spice things up a little bit. This show will be autumn. I mean, awesome. Anyways, I'm Kirsten, and let's go ahead and fall right into this autumn edition of YJP News. You know what the perfect thing to go with the latte is? Some pumpkin cookies. Let's take it over to Anthony as he samples some Halloween foods. This week, the culinary students have been hard at work creating several freaking amazing scare pieces. On Saturday night at the Fight Night Dance, these bloody treats will be at Dr. Frankenstein's Spare Part Cafe. Some of these items being plated include severed finger hot dogs, mummified cookies, bloody brain cupcakes, and bloodshot eyeballs. So make sure when you come to dance the night away that you taste some of these delicious treats that will be sure to leave you shrieking. I had no clue there was that many Halloween foods. I'm gonna have to try those cookies. Anyways, we are here in downtown Lakeland, which has been around for almost 200 years. In 1882, it was founded by Abraham Munn. Then, in the late 1800s, Lakeland had not only one of the best railroad services, but also had one of the finest hotels in South Florida, the Terrace Hotel. In 1898, Lakeland housed around 9,000 troops that were waiting to head to Cuba for the Spanish-American War. For the past decade, though, Lakeland has been brought back to its former glory, and is now the perfect location for shopping, dining, and entertainment. There's even a car show today. I'm standing here at the Lakeland Auto Show, one of the biggest car shows in the southeastern United States, bringing in over 40,000 people. Let's go check it out. Here at the heart of downtown, there's a curbside farmer's market, which sets up different booths varying from food, antiques, jewelry, and so much more. Every Saturday, a new band also comes to play, so you can listen to music while emptying your wallet. Speaking of money, I'm gonna go spend mine, but you guys can go check out Haley for some new announcements. The PTSA Financial Aid Night will be held on Monday, November 5th from 5.30 to 7.30 in the VHS Auditorium. Attendees will be entered to win prom tickets, a yearbook, and much more. The SAT will be held on November 3rd and December 1st at Florida Southern College. College Board has free SAT practice tests on their websites as well. If you'd like to take the ACT here on campus, the test date is October 30th. If you'd like to take it at Florida Southern, the test date is December 8th, with the deadline being November 2nd. The ESOL after school tutoring will take place every Monday and Wednesday from 2.15 to 3.15. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Vanderpool. Spanish tutoring will take place every Wednesday after school in Ms. Calvo's room. If you need help applying to college or writing college essays, Ms. Brown will host a college and career lab every Wednesday after school. Herf Jones will be taking class ring reorders Tuesday, October 30th during all lunches. Prom will be held at the House of Blues in Disney Springs on April 27th from 8 p.m. to midnight. The cost is $80. Girls basketball tryouts will be held on October 29th to November 2nd from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. If you want a scare, check out the Haunted Hospital located in the medical wing. This spooky event will go from now until Saturday, October 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. Admission is only $3. Thanks, Haley. Since we're already on the topic of school, I think we should go to our word of the day. Macabre. Disturbing and horrifying because of the involvement with or depiction of death and injury.
actually, I think I saw a sign back there saying that there's a pumpkin patch off of Lake Miram Road. I love pumpkins. We need to go check it out. Two of my favorite things about Halloween is carving pumpkins and dressing up. The only thing is I can never decide what I'm gonna be. Wait, I actually think Gracie was gonna DIY some costumes, so let's go check in with her to get some ideas. Whoa there, are you missing a costume this close to Halloween? Well, I've got three easy DIY costumes for you. Our first costume is going to be Minnie Mouse. All you need to look like this famous Disney character is a red shirt and a pair of mouse ears. For an added effect, you can use a black eyeliner to gently draw whiskers on your face. Costume 2 is a minion. You'll need a yellow shirt to recreate these banana circus peanut creatures and a pair of overalls. Soon you'll be looking just like the famous characters from Despicable Me. Our third and final costume is a grape. All you need to recreate this look is a roll of tape and a green, red, or purple set of balloons. Good luck with your costumes and have a happy Halloween. With all the pumpkins around, autumn definitely is one of the most gorgeous seasons. I'm sorry, my puns are corny. I'm just trying to creep it real. Anyways, that's the end of the show. As always, I'm Kirsten and have a spectacular Halloween. But, oh my god, I don't know what to do.